Hi guys, in this video we're going to be learning about irradiation. We'll talk about reducing the risk of harm from irradiation, contamination, precautions against the risk of harm due to contamination, and then we'll finish with a summary. So what is irradiation? Well, when an object is being hit by radiation, we say that the object is being irradiated. So here is some radiation hitting an object. And as a result, the object is being irradiated. Now from any source, high levels of radiation can be dangerous for the human body. So whether it's by alpha particles, beta particles or gamma rays, when we're hit by radiation, it could be dangerous for us. It's dangerous because the radiation could ionize our cells. And this ionization will damage our cells. It turns out that beta and gamma radiation are especially dangerous when we're talking about radiation hitting us from the outside. So remember, beta radiation is this fast moving electron, whereas gamma radiation is a wave. These two types are more dangerous than alpha particles when they're coming from outside our body. So why are the alpha particles less dangerous? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The main reason is that alpha radiation is less dangerous because it can't easily penetrate the skin to reach our delicate organs. So one of the main issues with radiation is if the radiation manages to damage one of our internal organs. Now, alpha radiation struggles to penetrate past the skin. In a previous video, we've mentioned how alpha radiation can be stopped even by a sheet of paper. So because the alpha radiation can't reach these delicate organs, it doesn't do as much damage. Also, alpha radiation is blocked by a few centimetres of air. So if you are stood further away than a few centimetres from an alpha emitting source, then not many of the alpha particles will actually reach you. So we know that irradiation, radiation hitting us from the outside, can be dangerous. There are many precautions that we can take to reduce the risk of harm to humans due to irradiation. So how can we reduce the chance of any of the types of radiation hitting us and causing us damage? Well, one easy precaution we can take is to stand as far away from a source of radiation as possible. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE physics and combined science videos, just click on the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.